So because of the sweet will of our beloved Gurudev, we will read Chaitanya Chart Amrita um, every Monday here on this channel. And um, we will start today with Adi Lila Chapter 4. And then later we will go on with, with uh, Maja Lila 8. So this was the wish of our Gurudev and I hope he is with us, although we cannot see him. We will just start to read the introduction of chapter 4. In this chapter of the epic Chaitanya Charit Amrita, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami has stressed that Lord Chaitanya appeared for three principal purposes of his own. The first purpose, the first, was to relish the position of Srimati Radharani, who is the prime reciprocator of transcendental love of Sri Krishna. Lord Krishna is the reservoir of transcendental loving transactions with Srimati Radharani. The subject of those loving transactions is the Lord himself and Radharani is the object. Thus, the subject, the Lord, wanted to relish the loving mellow in the position of the object, Radharani. The first reason. Now the second reason. For his appearance was to understand the transcendental mellow of himself. Lord Krishna is all sweetness. Radharani's attraction for Krishna is sublime. And to experience that attraction and understand the transcendental sweetness of himself, he accepted the mentality of Radharani. So the mood. Mentality sounds like mental. The mood of Radharani. The third reason that Lord Chaitanya appeared was to enjoy the bliss tasted by Radharani. The Lord thought that undoubtedly Radharani enjoyed his company and he enjoyed the company of Radharani. But the exchange of transcendental mellow between the spiritual couple was more pleasing to Srimati Radharani than to Sri Krishna. Radharani felt more transcendental pleasure in the company of Krishna than he could understand without taking her position. But for Sri Krishna to enjoy in the position of Srimati Radharani was impossible because that position was completely foreign to him. 
Krishna is the transcendental male and Radharani is the transcendental female. Therefore, to know the transcendental pleasure of loving Krishna, Lord Krishna himself appeared as Lord Chaitanya. Accept him the emotions and bodily luster of Srimati Radharani. So Lord Chaitanya appeared to fulfill these confidential desires and also to preach the special significance of chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And to answer the call of Advaita Prabhu. These were secondary reasons. Sri Swarup Damoda Goswami was the principal figure among Lord Chaitanya's confidential devotees. The records of his diary have revealed these confidential purposes of the Lord. These revelations have been confirmed by the statements of Srila Rupa Goswami in his various prayers and poems. This chapter also specifically describes the difference between lust and love. The transactions of Krishna and Radha are completely different from material lust. Therefore, the author has very clearly distinguished between them. Here ends the uh, introduction of this chapter 4. So maybe somebody wants to share something on this introduction. If not, then we go further. So actually the first reason which is mentioned is that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu actually came because Krishna wants to enjoy the position of Radharani. So even in the material world, if you ask some someone in the body of a man, if he understands the love of his wife, if he's honest, he may say, no, I cannot understand. Because Shakti has a completely other position than Shakti Man. So even in that position, it's very hard to understand. I was discussing some days ago also with a couple and this wife was asking herself, what is my position actually? Why I feel so hmm, unhappy? I don't know where is my position. And we were talking about this and we were actually coming to this point that because Shakti doesn't know that she is so important for Shaktiman, because Shaktiman cannot do anything without Shakti, that's why she felt so lost. Well, in Radharani's case, she knows who she is and uh, what she is doing with Krishna. Oh how she plays with our Mohan in the Lilas. 
But it's a very interesting aspect, actually, also in our life that um, if Shakti is not aware of the position, then she may not control Shakti Man with her love, because only this is working out in this uh, relation. As we can see in Radharani's case, she is controlling Krishna complete because she loves him the most. And Krishna can only be controlled by love. This is the statement of the Shastras. So if you want to control him, it's only possible by the highest state of love. The more you love him, the more you can control him. But this control has nothing to do with material control. This is the control out of love means I want to give. And because I just want to give with no limits and no um, conditions, that's why Krishna is attracted. And we can see that even in this world, if somebody is giving out of any condition, with no condition, we are very attracted. We may even not believe. So Krishna wants to understand why, what is the reason she is loving me so much and how does it feel when she is loving me so much? I want to know. I want to know the sweetness of myself through her eyes. I want to see our exchange through her eyes, to her senses. I want to feel it. I really want to be in it. I want to swim in this ocean of bhava. Because only bhava mai can feel that imperfection. So how it could feel? And here starts the endless Lila. Where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has to appear again and again because there is no end to this Mahabhav. This ocean is endless deep and endless wide. And it's expanding. And now comes the good news, even better news. We may take part in this festival of Mahabhav when we serve our Swamini by pleasing her beloved. Then we also may have these impressions, these deep emotional impressions. What Radharani feels for him. But now, even more good news. We may also feel what our Mohan feels for her. And we may feel how they feel when they meet each other and the ocean is swelling. Mahabhav is making big, big waves. In the ocean of Rasa. And we may not only surf on the waves, surfing, no, we will dive deep in it.
and we may be drawn from one side to another side, upside down, and get completely pagal. But a mandri is never lost. Even in that feelings, a mandri can be very stable and serve to make this ocean, in this ocean, even more high waves, tsunamis. And here's the connection to Sri Chaitanya again. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also wanted to feel what a Radha Dasi is feeling. So Krishna is not just satisfied with the position of Radha. He wants to go more deep. So this is just an overview of what will come to us on themes in this Sri Chaitanya Charit Amrita because this is the purest nectar and it's all about Radharani and the exchange between Radharani and Mohan and how we can be also how we can participate in this. All this Chaitanya Chait Amrita is completely filled with Rasik, with Rasa, Rasik themes. So let's find out. Together we can dive in and please, if you are inspired, share something or ask questions and we will try to go more deep. So welcome to the Festival of Madness. First one of this chapter. By the mercy of Lord Chaitanya, even a foolish child can fully describe the real nature of Lord Krishna, the enjoyer of the pastimes of Braj. According to the vision of the revealed scriptures, Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. May I ask a very, very basic question? Yes, please ask. Um, now I'm just hearing um, Gaurabhaniji's um, explanation, explanation and I just felt, um, I know Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a sandwich of uh, Krishna and Radharani. Um, so that means he can see both the, the Krishna vision and Radharani's vision. Is that the, the, can I understand, is that the same vision about with as Manjari? Because Manjari can see both vision or both side, both feeling of Krishna and Radha. So Mahaprabhu can also feel the same as Manjari. That's actually one reason why he also came to feel that. And in his Gambira Lila, he is actually completely deep in this mood and he feels the mood of Radharani and the mood of Krishna in the Seva. And this is also described. 
So the sandwich can take different moods. Thank you, Rade Rade. <laughs> So by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya, the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, even a foolish child can fully describe the real nature of Lord Krishna, the enjoyer of the pastimes of Braj, according to the vision of the revealed scriptures. So this verse actually is already inclining that without the vision of Lord Chaitanya or without the vision of Radha, no one can fully describe the real nature of Lord Krishna. He is written by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Even a foolish child can fully describe the real nature of Lord Krishna. But without him, no way. Without Radharani's vision, we may never understand Lord Krishna. It's not possible. The enjoyer of the pastimes of Braj, he is enjoying. And we may think, oh yes, enjoyer, oh, that's a good position. But actually, is it really like that? Or are there even better positions? Let's start from a Christian saying, to give is more near to the soul than to take. The nature of the soul is to give. So that gives a hint that if you are serving in love, you may have more enjoyment as when you enjoy a seva. After all, we can see that Krishna, he is not free to be completely a stai. He cannot just fix on Radharani, because so many souls have so many different moods and they all want to be in exchange, in loving exchange with him. And because he is the enjoyer, he has to enjoy that and to take it and reciprocate in the mood of the devotee. So is this the best position you can have, really? What about Radha? She is completely fixed on one point. Wherever she looks, she just sees Krishna. Wherever she, her feelings are going, it's just Krishna. Inside, outside, everything, just Krishna, nothing else. She is losing herself in this position and therefore because like if you take light and you put it into a laser, it's more fixed, it has more power. So the highest power, the highest laser of love is Radharani. And Radharani has full power, full love. 
She doesn't have to split. So we may understand that this is a better position. But there's even higher position. If you are fixed on one point together with Radharani, then you can feel what Radharani is feeling and you are already in the highest position with her together. But then, due to your service and your steadiness, you also feel the growing enjoyment of both sides. Krishna when he meets Radharani and Radharani when she meets Krishna. And this is not a fixed uh, amount. It's growing. So in the position as a mandri, actually, you have the best position. That's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his last pa uh, part of his life, he was completely fixed in that. And he left this taste for us. So who could be more merciful than that? Not possible. This is the highest gift. That's why Chaitanya Maha Prabhu, he is giving the highest. He is in the highest mood and he has the highest Chaitanya consciousness. That's why he is called Chaitanya Maha Prabhu. It's just one aspect. I'm, I'm just telling some aspects because who can tell all aspects? That's why I want to have you also involved. Tell me more, please. Let us share and go deeper. So if you are a loving father, then you want to see your child grow even higher than yourself, right? If you are a loving father. You want to see that your child is growing even more than yourself. He has to have a better position than you, not just yours, especially not lower. So a mother, of course, is feeling like the same. The child has to have the better position, but she is not thinking in a way of position in a material way. She's thinking a better position in love. This child should have even more love than myself. So if even normal people like us can think like that and may wish this for our children, what about Radharani and Krishna? The difference is, in our case, it's not guaranteed that our children will be in a better position in the end. But if Radharani and Krishna, they have some wish, then it's the truth. Then it's just like it.
that's why we should actually be aware that we have the best position because we are in between the loving exchange of the highest love exchange which exists. We are in the middle of this exchange and we can serve this exchange. Who could be in a better position? And we are needed for that. So how could Chaitanya Mahaprabhu resist? How could Krishna not go in this position? How he could not at least sometimes enjoy this position, feel this position, go very deep and spread it to all the children. And even though Krishna was there, and he, he actually left all different kind of yoga processes to come to self-realization. Actually, in what position the souls were after he left? Did anyone get this highest goal of self-realization? No. He was just leaving the path to soul realization. And then you could go a little bit further. But this is not enough for our Radharani. Radharani is thinking of her little servants and she wants to give the best position to them also. Actually to every Chiva it is said that every Chiva has the possibility to be in Radharasya. This is not a joke. Every Chiva But we have the choice. We don't have to take this position. We may. But of course, Radharani wants to have the best position for us. So she is offering. That's why Krishna is coming in the mood of Radharani, in the mood of the mother of every soul, and wants to give the best of the best of the best. And nothing less. We could see it like, my beloved children, it's getting cold, it's Kali Yuga. Circumstances getting worse. It's getting darker and darker. Don't you want to come home? I will offer you the easiest and highest Pass. Please take it. Nothing more easy, nothing more higher. Special offer. And the only thing you have to do, go deep in the chanting. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is praising in eight verses what this chanting is. It's very, very deep matter, actually. It's going very, very deep. Just Triksh Ashtakam, eight verses. Nothing else to leave. Everything is inside. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving the highest consciousness. He is offering the highest feelings and he's offering 
the easiest way, the natural way, the Raga Bhakti. And he's offering it in the Kali Yoga. And if you remember, we have four pillows of religion, of Dharma. And the last pillow of Dharma in this Yuga is Somebody wants to help me? What is the last pillow of this Yuga of Dharma? Was it truthfulness? Yes. Truthfulness. So on this base, actually, thank you, Suniti. On this base, actually, it is like the third verse of Shikshashtakam, Trinata Pi Sunichana. It doesn't mean that you should falsely be uh, humble, play a game of humbleness. Actually, it means you have to understand in which position you really are, <laughs> in, what, in what position we are. We are helpless. We are in Kali Yuga. It's the worst Yuga. Nothing to enjoy. It's the Yuga of um, suffering, of always ongoing discussing and uh, what is that? Huh? Fighting and you know, it's the worst Yuga. How you want to be happy under these circumstances? It's not possible. You will not have any time for happiness. No base, nothing. But now comes the good news. You just have to understand, yes, I'm lost. Actually, I'm in such a bad position. I can do nothing. I cannot help myself. I'm completely helpless. So. Please, please, just help me. And then wait and follow the offerings of love which will come into your life. And go on chanting the holy name and hear about the Lilas. That's it. But you have to be honest. Don't play any game. Nobody can pick you up somewhere where you are not standing. So if you think yourself, oh, I'm very elevated, nobody can pick you up. Because this is just a lie. Lying to yourself. But if you think, oh, yes, <laughs> I'm completely in trouble. I'm so much in trouble that I, I cannot even understand how much. Then you are in a very good position that you may be taken by someone who knows the way home. So this is our position. And if we understand that, then the highest consciousness, the highest, the Maha Prabhu, will just take us by the hand and lead us home. And the only thing we need, if we are not capable to understand this, which in the beginning is definitely like that, then we need somebody who understood. Who was already taking shelter and taking this offer of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
who took this offer can share and show us the way. And this is our Gurudev. So who is following Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? He can show us the way. Because here it said, even a foolish child can fully describe the real nature of Lord Krishna, the enjoyer of the pastimes of Braj. Even a foolish child, but not without Radha. No way. Because foolish child only know the mother. Jai Gurudev. Rest of the mother. This is the foolishness. So you see the foolish child, when it's four months, five months, they smile and cry. Because they are always living with Bhajan or every place. They are playing. When Krishna is playing with them, he is happy. When not playing, they cry. So we are grown up. So I cannot see with my Covering. So we have to be covering is to make me fool. <laughs> Not to see mother. This is my position. Not to see my radika. My mama. That is my spiritual milk. Without drinking that, I will not show up. And that Mama will come. We have to understand that we are helpless and then we cry. Otherwise, if we not cry, then Mama may not come. Because if a child is sitting somewhere in the corner and is just doing like... Mother is not impressed. She will not leave her duties and go to the child. But if the child is really crying like... Then immediately she will leave everything and run to the child and take care. So in our case, if we understood in which position we are, then we have to cry. How we could not? If we are not crying, we think that we are in a good position. But is this really a good position here? We are helpless. And if we understand that, and we really cry for Mama, then she will take us to the lab to the breast, feed us. And in this way, we will grow fast. Because mother milk is a wonderful elixir. It's not just giving food, like bodily food. It's giving the highest food, which is love. So even the breasts on the material realm here, 
they're connected with the heart chakra. Actually, it's both breasts are side chakras of the heart chakra. So actually, what the child is sucking? Love. The child is sucking the love. And in this way, we will grow very fast. Because love is the highest power. There is no power more high than love. That's why even the most powerful person will be under the control of Radha. Her Matanakya Mahabhav will even control Madan Mohan. Powerful person means become another piece. And that is foolish child and become like a baby. That is powerful. To be a big guru and a big Big things materially is not power. Material power. His spiritual power is a foolish for the material thing. And child means I am so ignorant that I cannot do anything externally. I am child. I don't know. Only I know. Mama and Mama breast. This is foolishness and childish. Grown up and powerful people not see, but child can see, and no education can see. No education. When you give to educate the child, then mind goes for material thing, is a teaching of material education, not real education. Bible is mentioned, when I was child, I was looking you face to face. What is meaning? Only child can see face to face. Ternada is Pichena is the nature of the childishness. Yeah. So they say Baba means they are babies. They wear in summertime winter clothes and winter time. Summer clothes, just babies. They don't know what to do and how to behave. <laughs> when you go to Binod Baba, he will whole day he will travel, and when he will sleeping time, then he start kirtan at nine ten, and he eat at twelve. It's a baby. <laughs> baby can eat at 12, right? Doctor said to eat at 6, 7, and he eat at 12. Baby. This is childish baby. All day, he is giving lollipop like a baby to the monkeys and the child. For him, monkeys and child is same. Why? Because he is also a child. Why he give to Topi? His child is. We want to be a child and live in child humbleness. You give Dandavat, before he will give you Dandavat. 
Am I? Yes, Baba. We have to be Babas, babies. <laughs> yeah. Then this material world will leave us. When we are useful, they never leave us. Oh, that's so good day. Yeah. Go. So, yeah. Childish nature means live in the feelings. Wow. And relation. That and all the and life of child, children. They don't need so much worldly education and knowledge. There is no need of this. Uh, they only live in the in the spiritual knowledge, education, and this is feelings and relationship. This is that, the spiritual knowledge. That ba, you see, is my Mahatma. <laughs> there are two German Mahatmas, Gaurvani and Gaurasundar. All Gaura. One is a Gaurvani who is sharing us Gaurakatha and one is Gaurasundar. This is the mercy of Gaura. Yeah. Childish natures. There yeah. also exist baby Mahatmas. <laughs> so baby Mahatma. And Sumati. Sumati is baby Mahatma with Mama. <laughs> Suniti with Sumati. <laughs> Suniti with baby. She don't know anything. No language, nothing. This is very nice. But you see now, baby mama and baby child, you see how they progress. External yeah, because they come in relationship, feeling yeah. and relationship. You see? Is it that baby relation, mama and child? And this relation and this love will change her. That is a speech word. Yeah. So Niti knows so much knowledge and philosophy and everything she has. But now she has to practice baby with baby like a mama. How to teach her, hear her, how she is ignorant. Sometimes she will become angry also. But baby, baby is there now. She cannot deny it. <laughs> <laughs> Change is coming. Even now I can feel. You see, every day you will see the change. And you will manage how the childishness work. And this is the Mahaprabhu teaching. We are so fortunate. 
that Gaura Katha is coming out from Gauravani. Gera, do not listen. Nada peace in each in Who is very unfortunate. How listen they are fortunate. I feel myself very fortunate to be joining to Gauravani's Gauravani. Gauravani means, Vani means those words what coming from Gaura. And by the mercy of Gurudev, the words who are coming from Gaura are coming through his channel and through my mouth. I hope yeah. my false ego will not uh, make it smaller. When you will be a listener, not a speaker, then you can feel it how to see it. Actually, I, this is what I feel. I often feel that I'm just listening like you all also. Yeah. It's, well, just, it's just coming like a flow. To listen it. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Vani means also flow of words, right? It's a flow. It's coming. Golden flow. So we are and listening the, the real Gauravani. Then you take this one. The story of meeting of Raya Ramananda and Mahaprabhu. Then Rupa Siksha, Sanatan Siksha, Raghunath teaching. This will be very clearly explained there. And then you will go deep and explain that. And then the story of Pundrik Vidyanidhi is all a story. But in this teaching, what is coming up? The beginning of the Chaitanya Chaitamrita, Rupa Raghunath. Why he is praying only Rupa Raghunath? Vibhya <laughs> Akuti, Rahumor As, always he is praying to Rupa Raghunath. Why this? This question has to be clear of us. This is the I just Got it. What what you speak now? I was meditating on this because our circumstances uh, will change completely when we enter the uh, spiritual abode. So, but there will be not the the, the same uh, association like now in in our material life. We will start a, a new. We will start new, and what? How we start new? We start with relationships. Wow. We start with with feelings, and as stronger we get the feelings in this world, as more easy will be to start the next step. So, and for this you give the mantras. For this you give this diksha mantras to the Lalita to Vishaka or to Rupa Manjari and all Guru Manjari and, and this, these are what you say now, it is, we start there with the relationship. We start in the family. And this yeah. will come when we now practice the mantras and go in the relationship. This rela relatives, they are waiting. They are, will, will, pick up us there as babies. And then we can grow and we, we have to start now in this life with this relationship. They are there and waiting. They will pick us up as the babies. 
And actually, you see, if I want to be baby, then I am in I am I am uh, in bodily consciousness, but I want to be baby. So my body consciousness has to be become baby. Yeah. If I am a grown up in bodily consciousness, then I cannot be turn other people. No, no possible. So turn other people, I am even practicing in my bodily consciousness to be baby. Yeah. This is the meaning of Tanaji. And we have a very practical uh, um, example. 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 Yes. Example. Like you, Gurudev, said, okay, you have to read Chaitanya Charitamrita. So in this moment, I feel completely helpless. And then I will anyway accept this order because I know, although I don't have any qualities and I'm helpless, I have to now take the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu on my head and I have to pray. So in the helplessness, we take shelter. Otherwise, we will not take shelter. If we think we are not helpless, we will not take shelter. So this is the mercy. So sometimes we get an order by Gurudev and we may not understand why he is giving. This is like a challenge. Do we accept or do we think about it and see if we could do it or not? Like on the mental platform. But if we just take it as prasada, as, as prasadam, then we will be able to digest it. It's the challenge is filled with the energy to do it, actually. Actually, it's not become challenge. It's become like an instrument that to achieve that juice and to become like a speaker box to relish myself also. When I relish, then other also relish. If I not relish, Others cannot go in that depth. That mm -hmm. is the word. That's the mercy. You yeah. say, okay, go deeper and relish it, but relish it together with us. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you for this, Prasadi. And one thing also. They say the Bangla also sloka connectivities with that, that Bangla will give the relation to us and to and no knowing. But you see, after you will start knowing everything. No need to know because we no need to qualify. Without not knowing, I want to know. If I want to know this, but I don't know, then you see the, how meaning is coming. You sing many songs, well, you don't know that meaning. But singing, singing, you start knowing that. You don't know the meaning of mantra, but chanting, chanting, you understand the meaning of mantra. Because this song is written by Siddha Puls, Kaviraj Goswami, that will create inside feeling to us. 
Prabhupada said, if you sing the song, it will reveal itself. Mm -hmm. Meaning? It, it will reveal it, itself. It yeah. will reveal itself. I don't know any Hindi, a Bangla. I never learn any Bangla with any prince. But by the mercy of Gurudev, it reveals to me. Please. Yes, it's the perfect theme actually, because the first verse starts with Sri Chaitanya Prasadena. Everything Prasadena. Uh -huh. Every word is Prasad. You see, this is the Prasad. So, so Meaning of is this. <laughs> Mercy, Prasad is a mercy. And one one small thing, because Ravani, you speak about this <sighs> Shikshasta Kamna. Yes. And why is giving Chaitanya? Why he, he is telling us that we make the grass and the tree to our guru. We have to be like them, so they have to be like our guru. Because I can feel that grass in Vrindavan and the trees are totally without ego. They are, have this nature, they accept every circumstance. And they are only in the being. And so they can teach us very much to behave, to become in this feelings of the children, eh? not to judge and not to be in a position, whatever is a obstacle to us. Eh? This is in the tree and the grass. So it's, they can teach us more than Many, what to say, Gurudev, this Shriftgelehrte? Priests. The priest, and uh, otherwise he would say, look at the priest, look at the, the Brahmanas, but he say, no, look at the trees and the grass. <laughs> That's so funny, yeah? Wow. That he, that he give this as the, as the, as the guru. Wow. Beautiful. And it's even grass which lost the hold, actually. It's a blade of grass on the street. So it, it doesn't even have any hold. If we meditate no. on that, the wind is moving it. So it's completely lost. The wind is actually telling where to go cannot do anything, it is stepped on, so it's completely helpless, it's completely lost. Means this is the nature of teacher, navigator. Who completely lost to do us, is us, We are not listening, but he completely lost always to guide us. No, 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 no. Again, turn and go left side. We go right. No, no, no. Again, turn and go left side. Again, turn and go left side. Okay, you don't want to do, then I will find out other way for you. Like this. This is the mercy of the navigator. Wow. You are not listening my words. Again, I will show you some ideas, other ideas. 
always calculate another rule. <laughs> Not even shouting with us. You fool, why you don't go left? No, just calculating another one. Uh, I was driving in Hansaduta car in Germany. He drive, and then he said, "Gurudev, he is my also my wife. I know listen, but he lovely teach me. <laughs> Means his relation, my, my relation is there." She never become angry to me in my mistakes. She guides me always, always, and I do mistakes all the time. I was so happy to listen to that. Yes. Why is this happening? Because of the love and care. You find always the way for us. I remember once once you told me this is your nature that you don't hear my advice. And then I said, yes, that's my nature, unfortunately. That's the material nature. But anyway, you calculated new and you gave me another way. So thank you for your kindness. Again and again, you oversee the foolishness. Rather and you're proud. You're proud that your children are lost and babies. I'm proud that I'm learning from my children. I feel so proud what I cannot do in my life. They are doing better than me. I'm proud of that. But this is just possible because you are like you are. Always again investing love, loving energy. And your meditation, your meditation is showing the fruits, right? You give and I see and what I can do. I have to give to others. It's too much. I cannot hold myself alone. When I think something else and water is full in one pot and you again and again give something, it will start falling down from the pot. How about that? Because it's over full. <laughs> Why? Because everybody opened the tape to give love. This is the mercy. This is the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, over flooding the whole universe. Yeah. We're growing in the same garden. Wow. Well. <laughs> Yeah. Trees, grass, beautiful flowers, mm -hmm. all are different, but all are growing. Yeah. So I will read the purpose of this first. It's just the first verse of the 
chapter 4. One can ascertain the meaning of this Sanskrit shloka only when one is endowed with the causeless mercy of Lord Chaitanya. Ah. Lord Sri Krishna being the absolute personality of Godhead cannot be exposed to the mundane instruments of vision. He reserves the right not to be exposed by the intellectual feats wow. of non-devotees. Wow. who had no relation and no love. Relation and love makes devotion. An intimate, Prabhupada said in Aj page 4, what is the condition of loving devotion? Intimacy, relation and love. Uh. This is spiritual intelligence. Yeah. Intimacy, Krishna. Intimacy of relation and love to Krishna, not to navigate her. Sorry, Prabhupada not say, what you have to do for me? When we catch it in the wrong way, that is not Prabhupada's parampara. Prabhupada never said that, yeah. No parampara. That line is not Prabhupada's line. This is modern line. It's impersonal and speculative line, Ben. I have no much idea. I am a fool. But it's not Prabhupada's line. I can say this. Prabhupada's line is very personal. And he, <laughs> he directly served the deities in front of his children. Yeah. He himself, he was showing actually. He was cooking, he was cleaning, he was serving, he was doing everything in front of his children and he showed what to do. What you can do if your followers will not understand? I like to follow them. Then what will happen to me? Who not understand, I follow them. Prabhupada also said, blind man is leading blind society. What will be the end? <laughs> <laughs> By the mercy of Lord Chaitanya, even a foolish child can fully describe the real nature of Lord Krishna, the enjoyer of the pastimes of Braj. And this was also actually what Prabhupada said. Yeah, oh, Prabhupada. I'm very proud of Prabhupada, I'm telling you. I am proud of Narayan Maharaj, proud of Prabhupada, who show us right way. Never so for themselves, they only show 
they navigate right away to us. But understanding is my understanding, how I understand. And it's also a question if I really want to understand. Sometimes children say, I cannot. But I cannot means I don't want. That, that is person to person. We have to see ourselves. Don't see others. No, this is what, what Narayan Maharaj said, actually. Yes, they are all Mahajan, I see. I see. All words is straight and just to find. We have to want. We need loba, that's it. Well, loba for our good. This is the goal, and we have to be a that. Right, Shama Priya. <coughs> Many people are not in camera. No problem. But you are there. I am proud of you. So the Personality of Godhead That's reserves true. the right not to be exposed by the intellectual feats of non-devotees. Notwithstanding this truth, even a small child can easily understand Lord Sri Krishna and his transcendental pastimes in the land of Vrindavan by the grace of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Srila. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Wow. Me too. All glory to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. All glory to Lord Nityananda. All glory to Sri Advaita Acharya. And all glory to all the devotees of Lord Chaitanya. Yeah, this is Sajatiya. In same parampara. To your mercy, I understood what Godya Sampradaya means actually. Yeah. Mahaprabhu or... teaching. Yes. Mahaprabhu. Prabhu is coming for Narayan. Vishnu, but Mahaprabhu is coming for Radharani with Krishna, then is Maha, Maha Bhichitu. Radha, Krishna is together, that is the highest beauty of the inverse. This is Maha. So Radhika makes Krishna Maha. Maha. Mm -hmm. Without Sugar. his own Prabhu. Prabhu. That is, <laughs> that is Mahaprabhu. 
So nice to live. <laughs> Beautiful. Also, another idea, Guru what came to me because you said this is we sometimes say Maha means Prashad. So Mahaprabhu is Mohan, who is the Prashad of Srimati Radhika's love. Wow. Yeah, you see, this is touching my heart. Wow. Radhika is giving his Mohan to us. Yes. It's her Prashad, and that's why he she became he became golden in this age, the golden Prashad of Shimati Radhika's love. One thing I find in Prem Bhakti Sandhika Suniti, mm. like every slope, what you want to explain, that is an index backside. And when you want to teach, you want to share that sloka, this is very good explained by Nandas Babaj. Not go by page by page. Acha. I was thinking to go song by song, Gurudev, like starting with Sri Guru Charana Padma. Take this. The first thing is our blockage. Bhutas. Mm -hmm. Eight Bhutas. <laughs> yeah, you told yesterday. <laughs> this the is eight? the heavy blockage in our life. And how to balance with the eight Bhutas. This is is written there. The testful will come. Now, how to balance this Narutam Das Thakur is Ram Kodarob Mo Madhamarsari. Mm. This has to explain how we can bring out myself. So that way you select. So it can be useful in the life of devotees to prepare themselves. What we are suffering and how to feel it to recover, recover ourselves. What you think is okay or not? Wow, very good, good. If I will follow. No, I follow you. <laughs> I follow Gaurasa. <laughs> Gaurapani, then I said to it comes to me to share it. So Gurudev, there are eight Mahabhutas, but actually there is a ninth one in the connection with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the fisherman. The fisherman was actually possessed by a Mahabhut, or better to say a Maha uh, a ghost like this. And this was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. Mahabhav possessed him. And in this way, he came out of all the other aids, actually. And then he need to, to be slapped to get in again in the other eight. <laughs> but this was just a transcendental joke. Yeah, no, I joke now. I say you, this is the problem in our life. And to understand this, when the problem will clear. And this it comes to my inspiration, come to me, that this is very crystal clear in Rag uh, uh, Pratna of Narutam Das. Mm. 
gerne an. Jai Shri Radhe. You are so kind to always share whatever is uh, moving you. Really good, Dave. So nice. But we cannot forget that we need a second one if we like to grow feelings. And the training center and uh, the, the training, the sparring partners we meet in this Zoom, we can share and we can be the sharing, the sparring partners for to growing feelings and relationship. That we, then we go. Yeah, that is the most important thing. But at the same time, many brothers, sisters are there. They also want to go to details to understand how the yeah. scripture is. Then the scripture has to open how it relates there. That's the beauty of researchers. If you know research, how many subject is yours? Every Before, corner, because of this, the trainer. Yeah. We need the trainer go there. Yeah, and, and you the, will see these names will be trainers. Rather uninspired me. Ah. Wow. wow. Now, see, what is happening? Hmm? Wow. Six thirty, huh? My God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't Gaur get this. Gorwani is Gorwani. Radhe <laughs> is giving God Katha. Jaya. Jaya. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Taita Chanda Jaya Gopalata Vrinda Jaya Ho. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Gorwani ki yes. gorga. Gorwani ki gorga. <laughs> I don't know in English. Gorgatha is through the through Gorwani. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Gaurvani means the words of Gora is coming through your mouth. That is Gaurvani ki Gaurgatha. Radha. Jai Gurudev. I and take whatever blessing you give. And Suniti is going to give Suniti. There are two <laughs> Nitis. Kum, kuniti and Suniti. If you want to be in Suniti, hey, come, uh, Suniti, then she is teaching the highest songs of Narottam Das Thakur with the meaning of ex big explanation of Anandas powers. Not her yeah, words, but she will uh, share the words of Baba Anandaji who is the most realized elevated soul. If you have a desire to grow from su Kumati to Sumati, because her, she accepts one baby, Sumati. 
this is the nature of sunniti to make sumati. Sumati means very positive for one point. Not wow. Wow, thank you, Guru, for this service. We are I feel very blessed. We are all blessed by your your love, Guru. Uh, I have no love you give us. Gerard. Thank you. Jai Jai Thank you. We are meeting again. Again and yeah. again and again. <laughs> yes, more and more. Wow, so good. Thank you. Thank you Jai all. Shirati Thank Guru. you, Sorapani. Thank you all who come. Thank you. We love you. Today is 13, but you will see who want to grow. Become fully child, they will join it. <laughs> yes. Once to grown up, they will never join it. <laughs> what is the beauty of foolishness and childishness? They will sure come to Gorwani Kik Gorkatha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.